Shalom Akim. First of all, praise going to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakadash, the one of the stone, and sight intellect. And right now, wanting less than base of intimate, you gotta have the mentality and the mindset basically to, to basically be strong enough to have it all, basically. <laughs> it always seems as though it's like this one line and the Spider-Man no, uh, no way home. We're being gone and the Spider-Man says, hey, you're strong enough to have it all. Too weak to take it. You gotta understand, well, in this truth, man, you're basically strong enough to have it all, bro. Because we are right close, we've been called, we've been called to the truth, man. Now, we, are we chosen? We do not know. The brother should be saying, oh, yeah, we're the chosen ones. Like, nah, man. Yeah, we're chosen people. But, hey, I don't know. I think I don't know. I'm like, bro. It could be tomorrow, next next year, next month, or the next week, bro. What the fuck, man? The I could be fucking wicked, bro. And it's very possible. But that's how it is, bro. This truth is very scary, man. It can take the spirit away from, away from you at any moment. So, let me just real quick, man. So you gotta realize that I have that well, since we're called to the truth, man. Make your calling and election sure. Be understand, bro. And I'm saying myself too, man. You lost it all, bro. You lost a lot of things in the truth. You have, man. And don't make it don't make it for nothing. Don't make it for vain. Don't think, oh, and go back to the world. You think you're basically spending all the things you spent on bro. Now whatever it is, man. What are that affects you that affects you the most? Your job, woman, money, this, that, social life, all that, bro. Whatever rank status you could, you could have been the next fucking NFL player, the next UFC world championship, or what the fuck, man. Have a sort of crap, a rap career. What the hell you, you gave up, man? Understand this. Make that sacrifice that you made, the things you lost, and the shoe worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> Because, hey, man, we almost there, bro. We almost there. So make your con look sure that, hey, man. Don't look back now because honestly, it's too late. That's verse Luke 9 and verse 2, and it reads, And yet, how shall I say unto him? No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So, man, putting his hand to the plow, right? And, bro, we in this already, man. We in the plow already. And if you try to look back now, hey, it's, it's a. Hey, bro, you're not fit for the, not fit for the kingdom, bro. So why look back? Honestly, there's nothing there. All right, all I'm, at the end of the day, what I'm giving up, right? <laughs> probably some, probably some more money. More money. I don't know, maybe a woman and shit. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, though, the Lord provides you with those things, man. The Lord provides you whatever you need, your needs, wants, and desires, bro. And as I take it away from you, hey, it took away from you. Now, but you could be a man in the world. You say you go back to truth. The Lord could take literally fucking everything away from you. Now, let's say I go back to the world, right? The Lord could take my job away, take my car away, this, that, and the other, all away. And what we see, because it is it's righteous for me, man. It's like, yeah, because I felt the truth. So you gotta understand, it has mentality. <laughs> Uh, being able to strong, strong to have all of this, bro, have the kingdom, man. That you're almost there. Just gotta keep pushing forward. Keep pushing, man. Sometimes it is hard, bro. Sometimes I'm not saying it's easy, man. <laughs> I, 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 I cry in the truth, bro. I have the things I lost, the things that I, want, I wish I had back, bro. You ain't, you ain't no bitch for saying it, bro. You ain't like, oh man, you're that that but little weak. Nah, man. Be there, we, we men, we have emotions. Now, I saying the emotion, be an emotional ass dude? No. Of course not, bro. Don't be emotional ass dude. But the difference between being emotional and having emotion, man. But hey, bro, every brother, I mean, every single brother has gone through it, bro. Regardless whether one, either they want to say it or not, they have gone through it. There have been sighs and cries they have made in the truth, which of the things that they have, bro, the things that they lost, the things that went wrong for them. You aren't the only one, bro. I understand, bro. We we are all in this together, bro. At the end of the day. Now, my salvation is like your salvation. Your salvation is like my salvation. No. But understand that we just men in the street, bro. We are. At the end, bro, we're just men. And sometimes, yeah, the, the struggle ahead is fucking hard. But I need to keep pushing forward 
and just keep doing it at the end of the day. And they're all the way to the very end. It's James 1 verse 12, very blessed is the man that endure temptation. So blessed is the man that endure through all this shit, bro. That have found family, my, his family, bro, his children, all that, man. His co workers, friends, and family, bro. And they all talk shit, they all this, that, you know, they're at, at the end of the day. But you pull through. The blessed man that endure temptation. For one, he has tried. So, hey, blessed man that you endured all of that, bro. You receive blessing, man. Don't go wrong. You will receive blessing in this truth. Now, it might be me now. It might not be the next two months, three weeks, what up tomorrow. It might be to the next year. It might be the next until you receive your blessing to the next five years, bro. But understand the Lord had not forgotten you for a single fucking minute. The Lord had not forgotten you for a single minute in this truth. The Lord said, oh, you want, I forgot. Oh, I left that dude in the background. Like, oh, fuck, man. I left him. He's probably burnt to shit. And they're like, nah, man. No, the Lord knows when is when exactly, when the two fuck exactly turn that heat off. You know, like, you know what? All right. That knife, fucking at 99.99%, we're about to over the edge. But if it turns it right off, put that shit on ice and eggs and helps you out. <laughs> I'm not going to come multiple different ways, bro. Like, for instance, for me, they. Sometimes it's, hey bro, hey, it's like, hey, go home early. Hey, man, go home early, enjoy a beer, enjoy this, then enjoy, enjoy your time off. Listen to me, man, hey, that's... Bro, I've been working so much of the time, bro, that man, having a day off is fucking... Beautiful, man. I have not had the last... When, like, last Sunday, the next Sunday night off for fucking months. And I finally got it off, bro. I was just... I was so excited and joy and joyful what I heard. That I had Sunday night off. I was so fucking. I work Sunday morning. But I was like, man, I'll work Sunday night. Hell yeah, it'll be a, a great, a great fucking week. Hell yeah, bro. I'm ready for this shit. So yeah, bro, your blessing can come in multiple different ways at the end of the day. <laughs> so endure it, bro. Endure it. Blessed man, endure temptation for when he has tried, he has received the crown of life, which the most side have promised to them that love him. Hey, bro, it's a promise, bro. I, like, what you gotta do as right now, bro, is push through all at the very end. Don't stop now. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, bro, sometimes you wanna stop, sometimes you wanna just push shit to slow down for a minute <laughs> to catch your breath. But as soon as we quit, it's Luke 17 or 31, and it's very fucking and it's very simple, bro. Oh, I said, remember Lot's wife. Remember how Lot's wife, when, hey, she was almost out of there. But she decided to look back and look back at Solomon Gomorrah. Remember all the things that she had. Yeah, and they say, hey, you might be perfect, but hey, it, was, it was something. It was a life back there. And what happened to her? She made, made to put her salt. Yes. In fact, Mr. 33 said, whoever shall seek his life. See, see whoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. If you're seeking to save your life on a side, man, you're gonna lose it, bro. Because bro, honestly, there's nothing on this side. There's nothing in the world, bro. It is all it is is bullshit, man. It's vanity, bling, glory. Uh, let's say my job, right? Let's say I'm gonna add it out, bro. He has the best I've ever right now. The, oh, I went back. I went back to the world. All it is probably is a promotions and that's it, man. This this is it. Look, look where the fuck I'm standing right now. That's it. That's where the pinnacle of life where I'm should be at, man. Am I happy about it? A little. It's a little. It's a bit comfortable. You know, I'm not saying it's always joyful. But it's a bit comfortable, man. But I realize this is the the next. Let me see. The next forty. In the next forty-four years. I gotta look into more of this shit. Nah, man, I'm tired now. I've been working for like five years, bro. I'm, I'm right tired of this shit, man. Like, fuck, what does it end? I gotta keep working and working and working until I fucking die? No hopes of having vacations and shit like that. I gotta keep working and working and working, man. Like, man, this shit fucking sucks. <laughs> so endure, endure the temptation, man. Endure what you're going through this side, bro. And sure to lose his life shall preserve it. But hey man, if you lose it, I mean if you know, forget bro, you know, forget your social status, all this thing, you know, man. 
almost goes to show the most high. Hey, you can preserve your life. You can preserve that eternal soul that you have, man. And preserve that. In fact, I'm going to get there real quick, bro. Uh, the greater glory, a greater reward that is waiting for us to come. In Revelation 4, verse 21, sorry, 21 verse 4. I don't know for this, maybe song, this, is, this is beautiful, bro. That what we give up on this side is what we have to look for. And how shall we shall wipe away all tears from their eyes? And there should be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And as she's falling, bro, no more no more sorrow, no, no more crying, no more pain, bro. I have to wake up and think, oh, fuck, my ear hurts, bro, my side hurts, bro, or, man, my, my feet, man, they just hurt standing, oh, God, for standing 16 hours a fucking day. No more pain, no more crying, I'm like, feel exhausted and tired, and I want to go home, none, none of that, bro. I mean, I'm waking up exhausted, waking up, you know what all you're doing next is work, 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 that shit gets to you, man. But if I keep doing this shoot, bro, most I only be part of the elect. I can I can enjoy the moment fully, completely, and honestly. I don't have to worry about okay, I can enjoy it right now, but I got bills to pay, I got this to pay, I gotta worry about this, worry about that, go this, that, and the other no man. I can enjoy it, like, you know what? I don't have to worry about a single thing. Just keep pushing, bro. Keep pushing. I know it's hard, man. Just keep pushing, bro. With that, can all praise going to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Karantash, that's all I can show